Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2020. Are you excited Dougal? So we've just arrived at the caravan salon. Today is the trade and the press day. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna tear around the show like mad people and dogs and look at everything that's new, exciting and innovative. And we're gonna start over there at hall four and have a look at the new Canals Sport and Fun. Oh, now that's better. That is much better. I've always liked the sport and fun, but I've never really gone much on the exterior graphics. The sort of the old dimpled finished with the blue and the green squiggles. But this is so much better. This is what the sport and fun has been crying out for, isn't it folks? Look at that. That is, oh, you can tell I'm really, really impressed with this. Let's go and have a look on the inside. So the inside, looks basically unchanged apart from cosmetic finishes it just it's grown up basically hasn't it folks it's grown up you got your hammock there to hold stuff so obviously new upholstery here smart new cupboards and then on this side we've got the same kitchen oh i'm loving this Loving it. I'm loving it. Dougal doesn't look too impressed. And then in here we have the oh, the washroom with the opportunity for the caravan salon's first. Hello. Sorry. And pull up the carpet for the. Oh, that's a that's just a drawer. An option is a pull-out shower tray in there. So I am loving, loving, loving the new sport and fun. So there is just one thing they've not yet done on this folks that I would really like to see and that is there is no window in this door. Close that up. Now, if you're in here on a Drich Scottish day, you haven't got a lot of light at the back of the caravan. There's no natural light at all. The nearest window is here in the kitchen. And you've got one there and that's uh, an aircon unit. I don't know if you can get a, a roof light instead. But as I say, I personally feel canals have missed a trick here. This still, I reckon that needs a window. Now what's interesting on the new Sport and Fun Black Selection is in fact the chassis. It uses the Alco Vario X lightweight chassis. So if I go under the caravan for you folks, you can see that is an innovative new chassis. Yet you've still got heavy duty corner steadies here. So this gives the new Sport and Fun Black Selection an MRO of 1,130 kilos and that can go right up to 1,700 kilos MTPLM. Uh, that's an upgrade. Let's have a look at the weights. So starting at 1,130 with an empty PLM between 1,300 and 1,700 kilos, depending on what you want. That gives you a payload of up to 570 kilos 
on this caravan with that lightweight chassis. That is incredible. So that is the very grown up Knaus Sport and Fun Black Selection. It's ever so nice, it's ever so nice. We've now moved to Hall 5, which is otherwise known as the Hall of Dreams, where you've got all the motorhomes costing you know, at least 100,000 euro. Some of them are over a million euro. And you could ask the question, how do you make an Airstream look cheap? Well, the answer is you put it in the Hall of Dreams. And we're off to the Airstream stand because Airstream Germany have brought over an exciting new model from the United States. It's a vacuum cleaner. No, here we go. It's the Caravelle. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't think they're ready for us yet. So you may remember last year, Rolkewerk, which is Airstream Germany, brought over the Tommy Bahama, which is a US model compatible with German roads, and they kind of Europeanized it. Well, that's exactly what they've done now with the Caravelle. So this is the Caravelle 22 foot. And this is retailing at a smidge over 100,000 euro. We say it quickly, it doesn't really matter. So this has got the side dinette in swish leather upholstery. And you've got the bed at the front. Feels very wide. I don't know how wide it is, folks. We'll have to have a look. Uh, it feels, well, it's definitely eight foot wide at the very least. I'm not sure we'd be able to tow it on British roads. And then there's your galley. So what they've done is, even though this was designed for the US market, Rokovac can put in European electronics, etc., to make it compatible with European touring. Obviously, if you're watching this in the United States and you want to bring over your own Airstream for touring Europe for six months or whatever, it's definitely worth giving Airstream Germany a call and discussing whether or not they will be able to convert your Airstream for European use. Lovely shower. <laughs> yep, that's a shower. So there you have it, the new 2020 Airstream Caravel 22 foot. So we're here on the debt left stand. You'll be disappointed to know that Alexander, although he's here, he's not responsible for this, which is the Globe Van E Hybrid. But Sebastian is here. And hello. hello, could you talk us a little bit through this van, please? This van is a Ford Transit Custom basis with a Ford e-hybrid, uh, plug-in hybrid. Yeah. We have a, so. a little kitchen with a double bed and a seat in one. Yeah, it's And a rooftop smart. bed we can open uh, completely in the front. Yeah. And uh, two switchable driver seats. And the carpet with uh, isolation and the uh, hot, uh, um, wood optic. Super. So the question everyone will want to know, Sebastian, is how many kilometers is the range on electric? Uh, only electric, we have 50 kilometers. 50 kilometers. And uh, in the combination with the engine, we have uh, 500 kilometers. With, with the engine, and the engine just charges the the electricity. Yeah, no, exact. Exact. And is this on sale now, or is it a concept? No, we can sell it. You can you can buy it, and uh, delivery is about uh, the end of 2020. End of 2020, and price is about 74, 75, 74,000 euro. That's super. Well, thank you very much, Sebastian. That's uh, no problem. That's lovely. Thank you. In Europe, based on quality, innovation and value for money. Why we are so convinced and what we prepared for the season 2012-20, Matthias will explain. On uh, Alpina, on Sonic and the new Astella, and we totally developed hardware and software in-house. Right, so here we have the new Adria Astella. This is absolutely mobbed. Mobbed. 
This is a cross between a caravan and a holiday home, or as we'd say in the UK, something for your seasonal pitch. I think we might come back later and have a look at this glorious caravan. So when is a caravan not a caravan? A caravan is not a caravan when it is a cube. Now these are serious sports trailers, caravans, whatever you want to call them, cubes. And yeah, they do look just a little bit on the cargo trailer side of things. So I think it's probably best to look at these as toy haulers that you can live in rather than caravans that take toys, which means that they're actually better suited for taking motorcycles, etc. So this is the Cube 4 and that goes for 19,000 euro and has an empty PLM of 1,800 kilos which you can upgrade to 2,700 kilos that is amazing but I want to have a look at this which is the Cube 5 that retails for 29,000 euro with an empty PLM of 2,200 kilos upgradable to 2,700 kilos which would give you a payload of 1300 kilos if you upgraded it so that's more than enough for your bikes so let's have a quick look in here the cube 5 and in the accommodation you've got a small dinette and then up here is an extendable bed and if I turn around Over here, little compressor fridge there. Got sink here. Looks like an uh, is that electric or I can't tell. I can't tell. And that's that's stuck down. Hmm. Cupboard. wet room with a freestanding porta potty which is something you don't see very much in the year 2021 however you could say that gives you far less seams less likely to leak so yeah there's your wet room now let's go and have a look at the all-important garage because that is what the cube is all about so here we have the garage area, nice vintage Ducati in there to show it off. And now you can see this is a serious toy hauler because you've got all the mountings here. You've got a proper cable winch, can you see there? I don't know if that's an option folks or whether that comes with it, I'd imagine it's an option. And then you've even got things like a drying rack for your waterproofs hang your leathers off there because again as any biker or anyone with any sports canoeing will know it's not just about the bike it's also about all the paraphernalia you need with it so there you go this is the sport caravan probably you can even rent it for 65 euro a day another thing just to notice is that this garage is totally sealed from the accommodation so you can leave your bikes on board and still use the accommodation so yeah nice one and as you can see more details on this one from sportcaravan.de okay so this looks interesting this is the uh, boa and it's quite a clever little caravan so you've got a diner area here this is bespoke by the way so you can have this done in pretty much any color you want and the table comes up there like that so in the middle we have oh there's some storage there and you see the the interesting profile this caravan sort of almost snail shaped kitchen here and your compressor fridge there and then it goes through to the bedroom and here's the bedroom good of course thank you 
is your washroom. So again, you can have it configured as you like. You've got the toilet there, your sink there, and your shower tray is in the floor here. So the clever thing is, whoops, this huge caravan actually folds away. And now we're gonna get a demonstration of how it folds away. So there you go, there's that end going in. Oh, and you can see there are other end going in now as well. How clever is that? So this is called a 3X because it extends to three times its original size and the price is from 30,000 euro. Now the good news is folks, if you're watching this in the UK, we will be seeing this at the NEC. It will be coming onto the, excuse me, it will be coming onto the UK market. So we can come and see this at the NEC in October. And the unladen weight of this caravan is 950 kilos, empty PLM of 1,350. That is the Boer 3X. Now then, how's this for a fetching colour scheme? This is the Yukon by Frankia. It matches Dougal, although I'm sure you can get it in a little bit more of a more, more subtle colour scheme, I'm sure. So this is based on the Mercedes Sprinter. And this is from about 80,000 euro. And as we see it here, it is 107,830 euro. That's German price. And it's, uh, well, it's quite different, as you can see. This is the lounge version uh, with the washroom at the front, kitchen midships, and then we have the living room at the back. And you can see here, you've got tracks, so you can put a seat and a table just here. It's a really smart kitchen, I have to say. A little two burner hob, but it's, well, I would say it's very well done, but then I suppose you would say, what would you expect for 107,000 euro? Um, oh, I say. Super Swish washroom. And there you go. Pull out sink over the toilet. And obviously you've got a shower here. It's very tall, because obviously we're on the uh, high roof sprinter. And then we go through to the lounge here. So you've got a sofa on one side and then you've got all this furniture on the other side. So it's very smart. And then I'm guessing that this bonquette down here will slide across somehow. Um, I'm not gonna break it, but if I walk through to the back and show you, it's like a living, oh, it is a living room back here. Oh, and, and look, you've got a nice, beautiful sunroof here. Yeah, so if we walk through to the other end, and I so from the back, you can see here, I'm kind of guessing this pulls out somehow. I don't want to break anything more. Little mounts for you for a push bike. So yeah, it is a very nice. I actually think, oh, I actually think that this would probably do better for one person or a couple as a long-term van because it's basically got everything hasn't it but also do worry it's going to be a little bit dark at the back because you've only got windows on one side and they're very small windows but either way it's nice to see something this different on the market well done Frankia that's what I say what do you reckon Dougal yeah I think the I think the day's wearing a bit long for poor Dougal now look at this French manufacturer La Moncelle has brought out this, which is the Liberty 440 SA. But get the uh, the Spice Girls colour scheme. Isn't that cool and funky? 27,000 euro, and it goes up to 1,800 kilos fully laden. 
let's have a look inside. That is so cool. That is really nice. This actually reminds me of some of the old Airstreams with the uh, U-shaped front. Look at that. Because you've got the aerodynamic nose. I'm still wondering if I like it or not because obviously you've got a smaller front window for looking out but I'm really loving the colour scheme there, the, the white and red. Uh, it's in like, a, I think it's in leather so it should be fairly easy to keep clean and then a French bed towards the rear without knocked off corners uh, oh you've got the the Thetford fridge freezer here sorry folks in the middle that's just something we've seen many times before uh, uh, the deeply unpopular triangular hob oh, so it's a very smart is that an extractor above it yeah very smart extractor above it though a quick look at the washroom which is a combined shower and toilet with a separation screen there. Uh, it's not a sealed unit, but still. There you go. But really, the striking features here are, of course, the lounge and the colour scheme. What do you reckon, Dougal? If Jerry Halliwell had a caravan, this would be it? I think so. Was beim ersten Blick direkt auffällt, der Wish Venture passt in keine gängige Reisemobilkategorie. Denn durch das integrative Frontdesign haben wir eine gänzlich eigene Kategorie geschaffen. Okay, another vehicle that's really hard to get close to at the show here is this. It's the Heimer BASF concept vehicle. Now, I only know a couple of things about this because they seem rather busy here to uh, speak to us mere mortals. I do know that that is a, an inflatable uh, pop-up and the chat was telling me that this here has been 3D printed. So they're actually experimenting with 3D printing on the construction of the motorhome. So this is purely a concept, folks. This is not a production motorhome by any stretch of the imagination but of course the great thing is putting these things into practice they can see what works what doesn't work I mean that looks gorgeous doesn't it that rounded rear end although I've just realized why I find it so attractive it reminds me of a certain caravan uh, the little deck here at the back very beautiful but I guess bring that to the UK that's a health and safety nightmare and oh are we gonna get inside folks I think we might be oh quick let's go in let's go in quick 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 so what have we got here nice cab so oh well should we go upstairs because we can so we've got proper stairs that lead us up into the bedroom here uh, so I don't know about these inflatable walls, they, uh, they must be very good for insulation, mustn't they folks? So come back downstairs and into the main accommodation and it's very nice because it's even though it's futuristic on the outside with these uh, wooden panels on the side etc it gives it a nice sort of homely feel doesn't it? So it's not, it's not a stark cold apartment it's actually you know to use a oft overused phrase this really is a little home on wheels isn't it it really is I'm, I'm loving loving the feel of it I am absolutely loving the feel of it proper sofas really loving it oh, oh something's going on down here oh what's this what's this what's he doing what's he doing oh 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 look slide out barbecue Wow, gosh. 
Let's have a quick look in the bathroom before we get inundated again. So I see something swings here. Yeah, so this is the, oh. Oh, I see, I've got to move that bulkhead. So that bulkhead obviously moves. I can see, if you look in the floor here, you can see the, uh, the outline of the shower. So obviously, somehow that bulkhead here has got to move, which I don't know how to do. But you know, as I say, this is a concept, folks. It's not not a production model, so uh, cut them a little bit of slack for things that don't quite work. And then back at the front of the motorhome, these really homely touches, they've really gone for a very different feel to what we've normally seen in motorhomes and caravans. So there you have it, Heimer's concept vehicle. It's, uh, I have to say, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't too sure when I saw the outside. I thought, yeah, what's the point? But now I've seen it on the inside, I have to say this is one of the most delicious vehicles here at the show. I absolutely love it. I think the feeling on the inside, that homely feeling, is just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Really good, really good. We approve, we approve. Okay, we're going to finish off today with something a little bit special. It's not brand new, but it's lovely and I've always wanted to see one in the flesh. The Ariba Touring 820. Now, it's a bit of a dream machine, uh, the best part of 100,000 euro. And with an empty PLM of between 2,500 and 2,800 kilos, you're not going to tow it with many cars. But hey, you can but dream. So here's the exterior of it. It is stunning. It is so gorgeous. Obviously, it's a very busy caravan. So hopefully we will get a chance to have a look inside pretty soon. <laughs> okay, finally, after much waiting, here we go. Oh my word. Look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous and it's just, it's one of those caravans that just feels solid. Well, it is. I mean, obviously, the first word that many people think is Airstream. That might be why I like it so much. So you got this very swish corner cabinet here. Cocktail cabinet, handy if you drink. Not so useful for migraine sufferers. And there's your sink unit. Wow, very nice, very nice. And then we go through and have a quick look at the midships washroom. So, uh, oh, and another opportunity for a hello. Sorry about the background noise, but and then you got a nice, well, two singles or a large double there. And it's just so bright and airy I can't I can't really get it in in, in one photo because it just it's so uncluttered but you've still got those lovely cabinets up there but some people are gonna mention the fact that there's no oven and there's only two birders on the hob but hey ho today we'll tell a story through the round window Yeah. Right, should we get one, Dougal? Should we trade in the Airstream and get one? No, all right then. Okay, well, I think we're gonna end the vlog there. It's the end of the day. We're absolutely all in. We've seen tons of really exciting, innovative stuff, but we also haven't seen a lot of what there is here. Either it was too busy or we just, just didn't get time to see it. We've spent a lot of time today just queuing outside caravans and motorhomes waiting to uh, show you around. So as I say, we're going to call that a day today, but that is not the end of what there is here to see in Dusseldorf. Uh, we've got plenty more vlogs coming that was just all the innovation um hopefully by the end of the week we will get at last get a chance to see the adria estella 
and maybe some of the other interesting vans because we've had a lot of vans we haven't managed to see but either way i hope you enjoyed this little peek at some of the innovation here at caravan salon dusseldorf 2020 if you enjoyed it you know what to do please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already it just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me thanks for tuning in there did you find that very exciting today Dougal did you find it very exciting did you yeah did you yeah uh, uh. he never smiles